to do a continuation of this uh, mass, ex mass exercise where I'm showing you solids and voids and how they interact with each other. So I'm going to go over to this mass and I'm going to have to tab until I've selected the whole, um, actually, excuse me, the, whole, the form within the mass. The mass is a vessel for forms. I'm going to select the whole thing and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to sort of copy it, do it over 150 feet. And then remember that if I select, if I press, uh, click and hold, I temporarily have made the plane on, on the form a uh, drawing plane. So I'm going to draw a square. Whoops, didn't work so well. Let's try it again. I'll click and hold and then pick my drawing tool. There we go. I'm going to draw a square that's about the same size as the whole form. And I'm going to pick it again, scale it. Uh, I'm going to scale it by, uh, by half. I don't know why I wanted to do that. I just wanted to show you how to do... Um, it, it's, so it's, it's, the drawing tool is basically the same, all of your options, mirroring, um, copying, etc., scaling are all available. You're just drawing, you happen to be drawing the base of, uh, of something that's going to be extruded into something else. So if I grab this guy, and I create a void form. It cuts through my my original form. If I tab to find that guy, and tab to find this face, I'm going to drag it through. You can see it's trying to snap to that other edge, but it doesn't. This this form doesn't yet recognize that void. So to get it to do so, I'm going to go into my modify, cut, cut geometry. And I'm going to pick the void form, and I'm going to pick the solid form. And you see that it now takes a bite out of it. Now, here's the interesting part. If I tab through and select the cut object and try and move it, and I snap from one corner to the next corner, you see how the, the um, temporary dimension string isn't reading 50 feet, which it should because it's a 100-foot cube. It's reading something funky. It's because for whatever reason, because I've selected the... Uh, the form with, a, with a, uh, a void form, a solid form with a void form going through it, it actually pushed it in 3D space. It didn't recognize those snaps. And you see that the void is now going through the center of the square or so somewhat off the center of the square. But if I undo that, that action, and then I come in and I tab until I've found, you see how it's the entire cube, it's, it's the, the original cube without the void plunging through it, and then I move it. My temporary dimension showed 50 feet, it's actually moving it along the, um, the XY axis, and it now, it's the uh, void form is no longer going through it. Let's try this again, I'm going to pick the form, move, grab a point and yeah it's 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 funny it's not uh, it's still thinking I have a form with a with a void going through it so I'll try tab I'm gonna tab one more time no nope, two more times okay I think when you see the void form show up it's somehow recognizing that you've picked the the original uncut form um, irrespective of the void form. And when I try and move it, let's see if it'll do it this time. I'm going to go 25 feet. Yeah, so it left that, uh, left that void form where it is and sort of pushes it back in. So that relationship stays the way it is until I actually undo it. Remember, you can cut or you can uncut uh, geometry up in this menu. By selecting the two elements, I've sort of uncut them and, and removed that, that weird relationship. And I, and I believe that that funky uh, mannerism of it moving uh, non-orthogonally can be cured if in 3D space. If you just sort of go to a top view when you're moving something, it should move orthogonal to your view. I think it was moving orthogonal to the ISO view, and that's why it was funky. So that's that.